My name is Riley, senior, class, teammate at Gigi. My name is Nick, and I'm a teammate at Gigi. My name is Antonio, and I'm a classmate at Gigi. Uh, extremely hard worker. He's earned every bit of it. He's the first one here for practice, last one to leave. Countless hours in the gym, and he's just a great kid overall, and I hope the best for him and whatnot. And even though I'm a Duke fan, I'm proud he's going to USC, so I wish best for him. Man, y'all see the shirt. Man, I've been manifesting this ever since he got the offer. Man, Gigi, he came a long way. Because he, he really worked hard, playing countless hours. He's at a position that none of us thought that he would make it to. So he really like, extended everybody's thoughts of him. Then it's just like a, it's a beautiful feeling seeing your teammate do, like, do stuff that you ain't think he's going to do. And I'm proud of him, real proud of him. Uh, you know, it's been kind of funny to watch, actually, you know. Uh, you see everybody have their opinions on where they think he's going, you know. Uh, it's always different talk around the school or where he's going. But, you know, Gigi stayed focused, kept doing what he had to do. And even even while deciding, you know, I'm glad he made the best decision. So you're obviously decked out in Carolina gear. You're a Duke fan. Just what is it? What's the magnitude? What does it mean to you guys as Gigi's friends, as teammates, classmates, and also just the fact that I mean, 7,000 people just watched Gigi announce that he's going to Carolina. Just how big is that? How cool is that to be a part of knowing where he came from, the hard work he's put in? And Gigi probably the biggest name ever to come to this school. And it being, being a part of that, being his teammate, being his friend, being around him for, ever since he was a freshman and seeing him grow and seeing all like the fame he getting, it's really, it's really mind blowing because uh, nobody knew. Like he just blew up out of nowhere. And I'm really proud of him. I'm really proud for him. Uh, seeing that kid when I was a sophomore coming in the gym as a freshman, goggles on, all lengthy and everything, trying to dunk and everything. Like I want to picture you just grow up and be a five star and then sign to this big school, clear out of year, all these accolades. And it's just like, he became a star overnight, just put in the work and countless hours, and this is this is the result, and I'm proud of him. You guys still locking him up one-on-one? -on -one? Oh, oh, let me see that. Hey, listen, I have a story, right? So, Gigi, first day here, like first day ever, I was frying him on that court down there. Me and him one-on-one, -on -one, couldn't guard me. That's why all his little hazes, that, that's mine. That's mine now. He can tell you himself, that's mine. But yeah, I still like little Gigi, you know, you know, he don't get a buggy or two, he got better. But I'm saying, he's still my son, though. Yeah, you know what I mean? On the perimeter, I got him, but he goes to that block, then I don't know, you're going to see a couple foul little hand taps, but other than that, yeah, you know, I'm going to get him to hold him down. Uh, no, nah, Gigi can't have that basketball. You know, I'm a football field guy. But uh, to answer your last question, you know, I feel like it's more impressive that he's been able to keep his same mentality as when he first got in, you know. He's been able to stay the same humble guy that he's always been, and I'm glad that he never got the big head. And, I, great, and I'm ready to see him, you know, play the NBA and maintain that same mindset.